representing world boxing, Judge 4 representing Japan, Judge 5 representing world boxing, your referee representing world boxing, Mr. Paul Rosendale. Paul Rosendale just giving final instructions to the boxers. Pair of southpaws, so who better to have on the COCOM than one of GB's finest recent southpaws, Mr. Lewis Richardson. We just love a southpaw, don't we, Chris? It's fun to watch. Look at the Brazilian in his corner. Down in his haunches Round like an one. MMA fight. Conor McGregor starting his bout. You say two southpaws? I see the Germans come out orthodox. I did say two southpaws. You check my notes. <laughs> Definitely started orthodox. We'll see how the fight wears on. Yeah. So Dennis Brilliant Red, the German up against the uh, Brazilian Breno de Carvalho in blue. I said yesterday when we had a Brazilian against an Italian. Oh, there you go. I'll stop waffling on about football. That's a lovely little backhand uppercut from Dennis Brill. And finding the body as well. These two not messing around at the start of this contest. Brill yesterday against his opponent, he swarmed him. He was a boxer who wanted to box at range and he sat on top of him and starved him of oxygen. Looks like today's going to be a different contest. Yeah, he's still trying to put that pressure on, but um, obviously the Brazilian looks like he can, uh, you know, he moves well, navigates himself around the ring really well. The German's got good base, good solid base, you know. He looks like a sort of smaller, younger Vladimir Klitschko, the way he holds himself in the ring. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant work by the Brazilian, though. And the referee steps in. That looked like the best flurry of the fight so far. Really rattled his cage with a couple of punches, the man in blue. Circling the German. Trying to negate the fact that the German wants to starve him of oxygen as he did yesterday. The Brazilian now finding his way back to the centre of the ring. Landing one to the body, sending one to the head that was just slipped by Dennis Brill. Yeah, he's working well to the body, the Brazilian. Going up and down, you see that? He's gone, gone down with the left hand and over with the right. He's done well. So the punch to the body lowers the guard, then you land with the overhand. Is that the idea? Well, something like that. Easier said than done, but <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. That's what the coaches will tell you. Yeah. Ah, oh, good contest, this. Brill keeps coming forward, although he's the one that's having the more punches land on his body. Oh yeah, one to the body and then the overhand. It's a strategy that the Brazilian is enjoying at the moment in this first round. Now he's trapped in his own blue corner. Dennis Brill going to try and work away. It's good defensive work to pirouette away from trouble. Yeah, it's nice. Into the last 10 seconds of the first round, and Breno de Carvalho is ordered by the referee Paul oh, Rosendale to shot stop the back German. jack. Good shot on the bell from Dennis Brill. But as my eyes look at it, was that a little too late for the well, first round? Because he, I, I think I'm leaning blue. He started the round well, the German, and then he sort of dipped out in between. Oh, he's got three, three two, two split in favour of three two. the German Dennis Brill in the red corner. I was going to say yesterday I drew parallels when we had the final fight of the day. It was Brazil against Italy and I said it was the World Cup of 94. Boring World Cup final. You didn't know it was before your time. This is a rerun of the 2002 World Cup. Brazil, Germany. That one was a little bit better. You've got to remember that one, haven't you? Well, I mean, do you remember much from when you were five years old, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> David Platt volley against Belgium in the 1990 World Cup. <laughs> oh, I can't say I do so remember. So young. That. You're so young. <laughs> Well, it was the Brazilians that came out on top. The original Ronaldo going round Oliver Kahn. Round two. And it's the German on top after the first round here. 3-2 split on the judges' scorecards. And we had a lively start to that first round. Can they come out and recreate that at the beginning of round two? It's Dennis Brulhu started the quicker, as he did in that first round, but then... 
Brennan de Carvalho found his poise after about 30 seconds to a minute and he's doing exactly the same here and the crowd are liking what they're seeing going to the body as he did successfully good shot just destabilized the German and as happened in the first round when he landed his best punches the referee stepped in and just seemed to save Dennis Brill yeah it's difficult I mean got to respect what the referee's saying there but it looked like good shots So Brill ahead on the scorecards after one round. A couple of times in the fight, he has looked a little troubled by the Brazilian. Both times the Brazilian just checked in his progress by a word from the referee. So, centre of the ring. Minute gone in the second round. German landed a good backhand about 10 seconds ago. Brazilians throw a nice loop in shots, but the hand position is good from the German. He's, he's actually you know blocking a lot of those yeah the looping shots seem to come in ones and twos as well from the Brazilian it's straight to work from Dennis Brill like that yeah the straight backhand shot doesn't tend to throw as many flurries and Breno de Carvalho working away again and again when he thinks he's getting himself into this fight he gets stopped by the referee big swinging looping left is ducked by the German in red body shot and then to the head from the Brazilian that's nice yeah, combo good, work good combinations from both there into the last minute of this middle round still anyone's fight great straight jab a straight backhand I should say from Dennis Brill who to confirm is definitely boxing out of the orthodox stance thanks for the confirmation there, Chris. <laughs> I'll check my notes <laughs> <laughs> give it the big sell about two southpaws oh, and I was just completely wrong German. really good round of boxing this into the last ten in this second round looking forward to the rerun of the action the action is going right up to the final bell with both boxers landing late on and the Brazilian just banging his gloves together as he walks back to his blue corner flip reversed all five judges going in the way of the Brazilian which even though he's up by two points on two of the judges scorecards the fact that three of them have it dead level at 19 all mean that this is the livest of live contests and that's what we'd like to see going into the last round as a neutral um, if you're a teammate of Evo or you know a compatriot of Evo you want it to be done after two but if you're a neutral fan you, you love it going into the last round because it's all to play for and it's been a great fight so far so I'm sure that will continue all to play for and the winner takes it all in this final round in the last of the light welterweight quarterfinals here at the World Boxing Cup finals in Sheffield Brenner de Carvalho in blue Brazil Dennis Brill in red the German anyone's game and Brill is coming out just teeing off with the the lead left hand trying to open up the gap for his backhand but the Brazilian is swinging punches as he has been throughout the fight and the Brazilians are starting to find their voice away to our left hand side in the galleries big head shot from the Brazilian yeah, yes good, good combo work Brazilian. again started this yeah. final round really well Breno de Carvalho has boxed a couple of professional fights. He's got a perfect record. 2-0 with one knockout. Now back in the amateur game. He's showing all of his skills here. Body shot lands clean. Dennis Brill continues to walk forward. Hasn't landed anything of note for the last half a minute or so.
Oh, that's a good shot, though. The backhand right, hooked through the middle, and then an uppercut as well, sends some sweat flashing into the air. Good work from the German in red. And the Brazilian is now just throwing single shots, needs to get back to his flurries that have been so successful. Just feel like the Brazilian just, you know, caught them the more eye catches this round. Germans had a good last 30 seconds, but Brazilian, um, you know, before that had a good first minute and a half of the round. So I still say it's all to play for in this last minute. Into the last minute of a winner takes all final round. Now a nice backhand to the body, the Brazilian. Yeah. But when he does get into them clinches, I think he's looking for a little breather. So he's working hard when he's punching and then on the inside he's looking for a breather. He came storming forward there throwing punches and just caught a lead left to the jaw from the man in red. And now Dennis Brill walking his man back towards his own blue corner, has him up against the ropes. The Brazilian is looking over at the, the clock, seeing how long's left. 25 yeah. seconds, Breno, and now he's thinking, fine, one last flurry. Can I try and convince these judges? Brill keeps walking his man forward. Yeah, he's walking his man forward, but just smothering his work a little bit, to be honest. It seems like he wants to get the work off. That's nice, that's better. Into the last 10 seconds. Who's got the final blast to yeah. showcase to the judges? The Brazilian lets out a big cry, but Dennis Brill is punching the air as well. And then there is a little touch of the gloves as well from the two boxers in the middle. It's pretty close. Good, good bout that one, Chris. I guess, you know, he was two, he was two new up on two cards, so you probably have to favour the Brazilian, you know, get the decision. But um, yeah, good, good, good competitive bout. Dennis Brill needs all three of the judges that had it neutral to get anything from this one. Breno de Carvalho just needs one. How have you got it at home? Watching on the World Boxing YouTube feed. Ladies and gentlemen, band number 29 after three rounds of boxing. We go to the scorecards. We are officials at ringside. Scott, a split decision in favour of your winner. And boxing out of the blue corner. It's Breno Di Carvalho. Wow, real emotion from Breno Di Carvalho at the end of that one. Real emotion. And check this out. Yeah, go on. Love it. All the dance moves. And he's saying, I own this wing, I own this ring. Don't often see reactions like that, Lewis Richardson. No, and you certainly won't see that from me, Chris, but uh, go respect the confidence from him. So 4-1 split in favour of the Brazilian. Good for the game? Not good for the game. What's your thoughts? Yeah, I'd say. I'd I say don't so. mind it. I don't mind it. Someone says from behind us, that 